Welcome back to Bits of an Artist's Life. This is Sandy Hester. In this week's video, I just thought I'm gonna bring you guys along for a week. It was a busy week, maybe not the best week to film, but I turned the camera on anyways. I had a short work week because we were packing for a trip. Speaking of the trip, this is after the trip. I'm filming this intro after the trip. My allergies are terrible and I have not had a voice for multiple days. This is the best it's been. So unfortunately, you're going to be listening to the scratchy horsey <coughs> voice throughout the video. Sorry, I hope it doesn't sound too terrible. So it was a busy week. I had a lot of editing on my plate for the week, but I still each day took time to paint, grabbed little bits here and there. I had some projects I was working on and things like that. And I just turned the camera on, captured that for you guys, and also brought you along on the camping trip. So let's jump into this week's video and just take a look at the busy artist, creator, traveler week with the horsey voice. <clears throat> Sorry about that, but you know, it's life and that's what we do here. So let's jump into it. As I said, Monday mornings are almost full on all editing and Tuesdays are that way too. So Tuesday night, Grady had a really late meeting and I thought I'm gonna sit down and work on a birthday card for my dad. We were gonna be camping with him on his birthday and I had this idea after doing a sketch on a trip we did recently. I did a sketch of a bird and had this idea because of the negative shapes to do a card. And so I thought I would sit down, start working on this. It was just nice to chip away at this throughout the week. I didn't have to put myself under a huge amount of pressure to exhibitions or shows or pride, mixing things up and trying out different supplies. And I almost approached it like I was a bit of a scientist, you know, like what would happen if I combine this with this? I did get quite nervous as I was doing this. I wasn't using a very sharp knife, which is never a good idea. And so I switched knives. I realized that was not doing the trick. The town of Mark making. And I might only use one color. So I might just be using something like Payne's Gray, which I love, to like this higher level thinking, you know, like this is my one shot at life and I want to spend it. Here's my desk and everything that's around me and I'm loving how it is coming along so far. At this point in the week, I am desperately needing to take a break from editing and work. So I usually try to make some time on Wednesday, like good chunks of time to sit down and sketch. And sometimes just the easy thing for me is to pull up one of my Patreons that I follow and do one of their lessons or sessions. So that's what I'm gonna do today is just sit down for a few minutes, grab my watercolor gouache palette, and do some really quick timed sketches. This is a figure session. It's a live painting session and I am just blocking in shapes first for the face. I usually do figures like this, get the big shapes first, block them in with some kind of neutral light-ish color and sneak up on them. This was a really fun exercise and just a nice way to wet the brush and give my body and mind a break. Now it's time to get back to work in the afternoon. And usually by Wednesday, hopefully by Wednesday, I am working on the thumbnail and social media stuff and getting the all the just stuff done for that. There's a lot more than what you would think when it comes to like social media, thumbnail, all the YouTube information you have to put in. So Wednesdays, I'm usually working on that. Later that day, I decided to take another break and keep chipping away at this card, doing the inside, and I think it's turning out really good. The paper I'm using is a watercolor hot press paper. I really like it. It's nice and thick, and it's Fabriano. I really, really like this watercolor paper. On Thursday, I was so inspired by that card that I finished, I thought I wanna do a second one 
and I had some ideas. I thought I want to maybe do a different kind of bird. So I got one of my bird books out. I definitely wanted some movement. So I picked one of my bird books that has some good bird movement in it. I wanted to just look, observe, take some notes and make some sketches and kind of just think through how I wanted to do the next one. I was also looking at wings, like the inside of wings, to look at the mark making and colors. And I'm using this book that I got for $3 at a used bookstore that I absolutely love. I've had it for years. So I see some things that I like and I decided to just grab the nearest thing to me, which was a large sticky notepad and thought I just need to jot down some things and see if I can render it and what that shape looks like when I render it in my style. I decided at this point that I want to grab my sketchbook. I can tell that I really need to get some things done on paper and I just sit down for a few minutes and make some notes, just kind of make shapes a little bit like thumbnail sketches, just work some things out and think about how I want to lay them out on the card. I also spent a little time looking through a website that I really like called Pexels. It's copyright free images. I sketched some other animals that I thought about for the card, but I'm really enjoying how these are turning out. And there's two specific ones that are really catching my eye. So I decided to make a note. I don't know why I feel like I need to make a note because if they're catching my eye, they should always catch my eye, but I decided to make a note that I like these. So then I was very inspired by those, but I thought, you know what, that owl kept coming to mind and I wanted to do it again and try to do it a little different. So I sat down and sketched it out. I will often grab an orange color pencil first to make my initial sketch. And then if I need to change something or don't like how something is, I'll grab a blue one. But I'm loving how this little guy's turning out. I kind of like it even just on this white background like this. His little face is turning out so cute. Here's my mess. Things are always just stacked on top of things and it's always just such a mess, but I work really well like that. And there's the other card that I made and I've got him there as a reference. He's like a little friend sitting there watching me as I work. Yeah, loving how the movement and the colors are working in this little guy. I really like his eyes too. So by Friday, I've got a lot of the work done for YouTube, and now I wanna just sit down and paint. I was thinking about some photos that I took on a recent trip to some gardens that we visited, and I thought, I'm gonna sit down and sketch those. I am often doing this in my studio, looking for something. Whatever I'm looking for is usually at the bottom of some stack somewhere in my studio. So that's what I usually spend a lot of my time doing, looking through stacks and stacks of things. But I really like my studio kind of messy like this. I don't know, for some reason it just works for me. So I do not like working from photographs at all. There's just, I don't know, I just don't like doing it. But every now and then I will. I'm not there at those gardens, this is all I have. And so I'm gonna sit down and work on those. I'm often listening to some podcast. I love the Learn to Paint podcast and I've been listening to it quite a bit lately. I'm sitting here with my orange pencil like I usually do and just giving myself like, kind of a road map. I don't sketch out a lot of details. I remind myself of where the darks are and just get big shapes in. Then I go in with darks and transparents, or not even darks, just the things that are in the, the background, the things that are under the things that are on top, like the flowers. So I wanna, the flowers are gonna be on top. So I wanna paint that undergrowth and get some transparency and get my darks in. So over the next two days, I'm gonna just chip away at this. And it's so nice sometimes to have something the next day to just come into that's already started and sit down and just kind of chip away at something. I used to not like working like this, but I really enjoy having something to keep chipping away at and working on. Time for lunch. I don't know if I'm fully happy with this, but it was really fun to do. And garden scenes are really hard. And once again, here's all my mess and some of my reference photos there on the screen. My desk is actually looking quite tidy if you ask me. I got a package of art supplies in. 
last week. I haven't had a chance to really play with them. It's the Turner Acrylic Gouache. I bought a bunch of them. I did a Substack post last week swatching all of them and telling a little bit about them, but I think what I want to do is sit down. I've got about 15 minutes before I have a interview that's going to be a Zoom interview. I think I want to spend just a few minutes swatching and playing around with some of these colors and that will be a little bit of uh, some time with paint on paper and making use of my time by learning my colors. So I think I'm going to sit down and do that. I haven't been able to paint today. I've been working all day. I've had one meeting after another and this will be a nice way to just do a low-key painting session. Okay, I've set the timer and that's just so I can keep a track on time. I've set the timer so that way I don't lose track of time. I'm just going to mix this way straight from the tube because that's how I would be doing it out on location. And I want to just get an idea of what some of my greens and blues do. Maybe with a little bit of this red also. I'm not going to make notes or anything. This is not like an official swatching session. This is just, let me play around and see what happens. Ooh, that's interesting. I guess because this is more purple. Wow nice. Not really a green, but okay. So that blue, that blue violet is not going to make green for me. That's good to know. One of the things that's nice about doing this kind of thing is you learn the strength of your colors. Like I learned that this Prussian blue, which I kind of already knew, but you know, you learn that it's really strong, so you don't want to dip your brush in very deep. I'll also learn if there's really much of a difference between these yellows. I absolutely do not have time to be doing this. I've got too many other things on my plate today, but here I am making a small sketchbook out of paper that, if I remember correctly, I like. Just might be kind of fun to have for the camping trip. I don't really know why, but that's what I'm doing. I had this idea yesterday. I've taken some classes of like how to make books and stuff. I'm just in a real simple version. I think one of the benefits, if this works, is that um, it'd be lighter because I don't have a, because I won't have a cover. And I used my owl to punch some holes and I am using an old candle to wax the thread. If I remember correctly, that helps the pages kind of just turn better. I've got a, an appropriate, not appropriate, I have like a, a block that I did buy a, while, a long, long time ago, but I can't find it. A block of like beeswax or whatever. I think I remember that I like this paper. I don't remember what it is whatsoever. It's got a slight creaminess to it, and it's not super thick, but it's thick enough. I've got editing work to do, I've got food to make for the trip, and packing, obviously, and I've got a birthday card that I need to finish painting, and 
writing in for my dad's birthday. He's going to be camping for part of the time that we're there, so that will be fun to give that to him. I have physical therapy today for my arm that I'm still working on, and I have to go to the grocery store. I mean, it's just a long list. Do you see why I should not be doing this right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But here I am. This is what I do, get off on tangents. So I'm going to finish this tangent and then get to things that I actually need to be doing. I can't remember how tight to tie these. And that's going to be okay. I don't want to time super tight, but just enough. So I'm going to tie these off, just kind of knot them, and then trim them, and then that'll be that. And if I like this, what I think maybe I'll do is research then how to connect these. Like if I make a few of them to make a bigger sketchbook. Or maybe it would just be nice to have some of these smaller ones because... Uh oh, I didn't get that very tight. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Uh, you know, to have just small ones instead of a big honking. Oh, I forgot to pull these tight. Okay, no, that's fine. Instead of like a honking one to take just like two of these or something would be so much lighter in my bag. I just can't remember if I like this paper enough. It's also not doesn't have nearly as much sizing as the sketchbooks that I do like. Okay, I'm gonna give these just a little trim. And that will be that. Try not to cut the knots off. Okay, so that's fine for me. Let's see how it opens. Throw these away. much stuff on my desk. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Good job, Sandy. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Great. Perfect. I thought I would show you the two cards that I made. I am very pleased with both of them. I decided to just go with owls for both because I enjoyed doing the first one. This was the first one. For some reason I messed up and made it open kind of the wrong way. Like you really should open a card this way. I mean, it's fine. I'm super happy with it. I think it turned out really cute. And then what I'll do is write something here in the card. That'll be where I write. And I like how, well, I'll show you a, a scene in a minute, like with them stand, standing up. And then this one, I remember to do it the correct way that you open it. I like that both of their little faces are different. There's that one. And then. And it was fun to just play a little bit with different pattern. Let me open this one up to show you. The back. And I did a little more cutting out on this one. I got Grady's opinion. And, oh, maybe, what else did I do different? Mm. Oh, cutting around the face maybe a little more. And then I wasn't sure if I liked the way I did this. But see, I didn't want any of that showing in these places. So then it made it a little odd of where I put the branches. But it's kind of like the tree's going this way. I may work a little more on this one haven't decided and then obviously this is where I'll write a card but I was quite happy with both of them oh that's cute Ooh. okay I need to do a painting like that that's cute hmm. okay I like that let me show you what they look like when they're standing up We have had 
the absolute craziest day today. So we came up to go camping, come up to our campground. I didn't say that very well. We came, we left today to come to our campground. I'm really tired and my voice is a little scratchy too from allergies. Um, it's about a two and a half hour drive to get up here. We got up here, completely set up, had lunch. During lunch, Grady's crown broke. His temporary crown to get broke. So it was either he needed to get back today to get it done or they weren't gonna be able to see him for several more days till like Tuesday. Today's like Wednesday, so almost a week. So he drove back, was gonna drive back, get it done and come back. Got it done. While he was gone, I was sitting outside painting and like towards the back of our campground lot and somebody was mowing the front, like up by the road where there's gravel. I mean, it's a decent distance. And a piece of gravel got caught up in that mower and shot through across the whole lot like a bullet. I, it's so weird. I kind of, I heard this noise and I looked up and I saw it and it hit me. Thankfully, not right here, but in the corner. I mean, hard. I thought, oh my gosh, I think it probably would have blinded me if it had hit it right in the middle. I figured I was bleeding. I started crying and was holding my eye. I called Grady because I didn't want to go look at it in the bathroom by myself. Anyways, I think it's probably fine. My my vision is blurred. My eye looks pretty fine. Down in my sinuses, it's really painful. I don't know. Anyways, I've talked to a doctor friend. Uh, I iced it. If you saw my Instagram, in fact, if I still have it, I'll put a picture here. I didn't have an ice pack, but I had some frozen biscuits. So I stuck a frozen biscuit on it. And throughout the day, I've been getting the biscuit out. And then when it starts softening, I just form it. So I can, anyways, it worked really good. I sent a picture to Grady and his response was, don't throw that biscuit away. I'll eat it. Oh, brother. That man's always thinking about food. Anyway, so that happened. And I was thinking, oh, I'm glad Grady's going to come back up here. I really didn't want him to drive after the dental procedure because it's just been a long day of on the road. But I was thinking, I don't really want to be here by myself tonight with no vehicle because he took the, the truck in case something happened, you know, with this. Since my vision is blurred um, and I'm having a lot of pain in, you know, through here, probably tomorrow, I bet you I'm going to have a bruise or black eye but so after his dental thing he's like I'm gonna head back and I was like back up here I was like oh but I was thinking I'm so thankful well he gets part of the way up here and the truck is breaking down so he has to turn back around go home and then to top it off so it's like eight o'clock right now I've been just sitting here painting which I'll show you in a minute I I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I was just hearing some man out there it didn't sound super close but i was pretty i'm pretty sure he was screaming for help normally my instinct is to go help somebody but it's dark i'm here by myself and there's lots of other people here in the campground so i'm so, hoping somebody else heard i'll probably hear tomorrow what happened but i'm like what else okay let me show you what i'm doing i wanted to paint a little bit tonight it's, I don't have like, I don't know how to work like anything here on the Airstream. So I don't know how to work the TV. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to paint and then I'm going to, it's 8.07. Then I'm going to go shower and go to bed because I'm tired. But on a recent trip that we took um, on the airplane, I photographed photos. You know, the family photo series that I've done. I've got a video of it. I'm pretty sure it's here. I can't remember if it was here or Substack, but old photos of like me and my siblings, my mom and dad and stuff, old ones I've been painting from for this year. Photocopied some of those and drew those on the trip. I had one that I just sketched to see if I liked it. And then I had another version of it where I colored, did a color version. So I used those two versions. I flipped back and forth and did this painted version. I usually have a like picnic table, a thin plastic picnic table that I throw over everything so I don't get paint on everything but I forgot it at home so I just used this old towel. I think that worked good. I don't think I got paint on anything. So we're good there. I'm going to clean up though and then shower and go to bed because I'm tired. I already said that because I'm tired. 
Just thought I'd mention all that. It's been crazy. So the plan is Grady is going to just leave the truck at home. He's going to come up here in the car and we're going to hopefully finish our trip out. But the caveat to that is my doctor friend said if I'm having pain or blurred vision tomorrow still, then I need to get into an eye doctor. Urgh. Uh, so I'm praying and hoping everything's going to be okay so we can just have a nice, non-dramatic trip for the rest of the trip. Ah, uh, Crazy. Okay, let me show you this and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, here's the table set up. I brought such limited supplies, you just would not even believe it. All I brought were my new Turner acry acrylic gouache. I brought some Neo colors and that's it. Obviously my paint bucket. This is what I did. I don't know if that's going to show up very well, but I'm telling you these like carousel horses with their big teeth are so fun. That was the best part doing the teeth. So fun. Um, color palette. I mean my palette. I cannot even talk. I need to just go to bed. Okay. There's that. I'm going to bed. Oh boy, that sounded like demon voice. Sorry. I'm going to bed. <laughs> we are out at the lake at the campground. Grady's out there fishing and I'm out here painting. My voice is very, very scratchy. Um, my eye seems to be okay. The pain in my face stopped hurting and my blur vision's still a little blurred, but I think everything's going to be okay. Okay, so I did a quick sketch. I thought I would do two, but I'm tired. Not been feeling great because my allergies, so I've been more like low key. And I have a feeling Grady's gonna be done in a minute. I think I'm gonna walk over where he is. He's over at that bank way out there someplace. And uh, see if he's about to wrap up. Take my stuff with me in case he's not about to wrap up. Then I'll paint from that view, which could be pretty because the sun's shining this way. Let me show you what I've done. This trip, I brought the most minimal supplies I've ever, ever, ever brought on a trip. Just having the gouache, uh, the acrylic gouache has been really nice. It's been light. I'm taking these two color pencils with me. I've not been bringing Neo colors. It's been really nice. I am finding there are a couple colors I'm missing. What am I missing? The yellow ochre isn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. I need to get a raw sienna, a, I always get burnt umber and raw umber, raw umber. And I feel like there's one other color I've been filling up and missing. Oh yeah. Like a um, emerald green. Every now and then that's a color I need. And I can't ever, like I couldn't give you an example right now. But the times that I've needed, oh yeah, today I was, oh, I forgot to finish that. Thinking of something I forgot to finish on a sketch. Oh, that's right, because my dad got here. I stopped painting earlier. Anyway, sorry, completely thinking out loud. You probably don't want to hear that. Let me just show you. Here we go. Okay, so here's my simple setup. My big Agnes seat, which I love. Super lightweight and portable. My Kanken bag, water to drink. <coughs> Excuse me. And... For my water bucket some simple brushes my gouache my acrylic gouache i like to separate them in warm and cool i find i can find things a lot easier that way and then here's the painting oh boy it looks kind of neon it looks very bright with that sunlight coming through let's see if i can get you in the shade a little more it's kind of dappled lighting so it's not great and then this is just like a cardboard here's the brand i really like using that as my desk because uh, I just left that on my lap and have my palette. <coughs> so much coughing. Okay, I'm going to go get Grady. He's way out there. Hello, Grady. <coughs> tell him I need to... <coughs> tell him I need to get inside. There's something getting me out here. <laughs> the allergies. <coughs> I got to go.
Later that day, I decided to pull up some photos. This felt like the week of using photos, but I took some photos on a walk one morning where I just had some beautiful scenes of the creek and trees and their roots as they kind of hang over a creek. I do feel like this tree looks like it's kind of giving birth to that rock though. That's the only thing that kind of annoys me. It's like he gave birth to that. I don't know what it is. But I do love this little spider and spider web. And because I loved it so much, I decided after that to do another one and uh, do it from a couple of different photographs and mush them together, just using my acrylic gouache again. And I loved how this one turned out too. Felt very appropriate painting trees while I was sitting there amongst all the trees. Once we got back home on Sunday, I did some pet sketching from family photos again. And I had one that I did that it turned out okay, but I decided I wanted to do it a little bit larger. And so I grabbed my large sketchbook, my large moleskin sketchbook. This time I decided to just set it up on my easel. Thought I would just try working that way. I'm always changing the way I work. I just get bored easily, so I'm always changing up medium, the way I work, all that kind of stuff. So I decided to set the small sketch that I did, set that out for reference, and try this larger version. I don't think it was terribly successful. It was still really fun to do. I do think I should have worked on it a little bit more, but I had such a busy work week the following week that I just had to kind of crank it out. And that's how it is sometimes, and that's fine. I don't have to have a fully completed sketch. Sometimes for me, it's just about getting paint on paper and enjoying that process and seeing what happens. The other thing I do when I work on either large canvas or anything over kind of in this corner is I will often set my reference, if I have a reference photo, I'll set it on that chair like I have now. Sometimes I will tape it up on the wall, but I always have my paints and my palette usually on my desk across the room. What that does, it makes me step away from the painting. It makes me move, because you can kind of get stiff if you're working in the same way. I thought it would be nice to end this video with showing you the work that I did over the weekend. I think one of the themes through this work that I was doing and that's been on my mind a lot is movement in different ways. So hopefully I'll remember and tell you about that. I made myself a sticky note so I would remember. We'll see if I remember to point that out. I'm gonna put that over there. Actually, let me put it here so maybe that will be in view a little bit. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Let me start with this since I did not care for this at all. So you know the little booklet I made? I'll probably end up giving this to somebody. I think you'll be able to tell that I did not care for it. I only did two things in it and both of them were unfinished. I just, I don't know. This was going okay. I don't think I stopped this one because I was bored. I just can't remember, but basically I was not loving this. So I'm gonna give it to probably one of my kid friends that can like fill that in and use the rest of it as a sketchbook. So there was that. Let's see what I have marked here. Oh yes, these were some of the Patreon sessions that I did just, you know, in, here and there to just keep my hand working and play. This one was done with my watercolor and gouache. And same thing here quick ones. Then this was where I was thinking about the card and thinking about movement. Again, these birds moving, uh, flying in. I do keep coming back to this, this one and this. These two compositions I keep thinking about. Oh, this is what I started here. And then I think I was thinking about this one right here with the like berries in its mouth. Yeah, anyways, that didn't go very far, but I do think there's something in these two right here, maybe even that one, that I do like the composition. Then I had some more just playing around with thinking about composition and different animals, and again, movement. I think that's it for this one, yes. Uh, this is the one that you saw me blocking in the large 
head shape. One of the things I loved about this live session was that Trixie's mom was sitting really close to the camera, but Trixie was back there probably just passing time, but it was nice that she was in the shot too. And there was a plant somewhere that caught my attention. So this was a little bit of a weird composition with her nose there in the gutter, but I still liked the whole thing. And I do think there's movement in it. That may have been, oh, these were just my swatches of some acrylic gouache that I got. What's in here? Oh yes, I wanted to show you this because this was what my, the cards were based off of that I did for family members. I used a few different references for this. I first pulled up some taxidermy owls from years and years ago at a museum in Washington we went to and was using some of the mark making and the shape. And uh, yeah, so it was fun to just kind of do this and it was some of these negative shapes that I was really enjoying and thinking about cutting out for a card. So that's where that came about. I did a whole bunch of sketches on this trip from the trip that we filmed, and I'm not gonna show any of those except for one here because I want to save those for that class, but I've been doing tons of work from the work that I did on location. This, I'm kind of getting out of order here. Let me come back to this if I remember. This is the one I did of me in the Karis wheel or on the Karis wheel. And these horses were so fun to do. Their teeth just made me beyond happy. And I am definitely going to be exploring this some more. I do feel like I kind of got that movement, that thrush up of the uh, horse, you know, as they kind of go like this around the Karis wheel. Okay, one of my favorite things too, besides the teeth, are like the little sock stripes. I mean, how cute. Those kind of little details make me beyond happy. So I'm definitely gonna be exploring this some more. I wish I had had the original photograph because I wanted to kind of think about this a little bit more, the background, but I think just the simplicity of this was really wonderful. See, I feel like there were some more things in here. Yes, one more. I wanted to show you this. Uh, when I came back to look at this, I did not care for this. Well, there were things I liked about it. I do not care for this whole area. It's too thick and dense. It doesn't breathe at all, but that's okay. I do like these flowers down here. These roses turned out nice, and I kept the transparency of the darks, which I like that, but all of this got a little woof. And I love the background here. All of this I was very happy with, but it's because I didn't touch it after I did it. All this I kept working, overworking, especially that lavender plant. Man, that lavender plant, oof, I worked too much on it. I love this bird, and I'm not real happy with that lady, but let me go back now to this. So yesterday, is it yesterday? Yes, Sunday. I just had a few minutes that I wanted to sit down and I just went through some family photos and I painted this one of me and my mom. I actually wrote what was on the back of the card. It was from 1985, me and my mom in Hawaii. And I love the looseness of my mom and this background. Love how I did that. Did not like how I rendered myself. One, I look way too old there. It's mainly because of how tall I made myself. I didn't observe it enough and put me shorter. So I thought this morning I'm going to do another painting of this and I grabbed my really large sketchbook, my Moleskine giant one, and wanted to see if going bigger would keep me loose. So I'll show that to you in just a minute. And let me see, I saved kind of the best I feel like for last. So this is one of the Patreon sessions that I did. I think I just used Neocolor too. Oh, and a blue and an orange pencil. I actually wrote what I used. But I do love how these eyes were rendered. I'm not real happy with this face, but I, I like how I did this. And again, this was very quick. And then I made up the through the window scene. I did this one there at the lake on our camping trip. Mm, not in love at all with that. But these next two are probably my all-time favorite from the whole week. That feels really bright. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I did these from some photos I took on a walk in the morning, and I loved the roots of the trees and the spider web. 
I'm definitely going to do some larger paintings from these two because I just loved how these turned out. So there was that one. After I did that, I thought I want to do another one from a little bit different viewpoint. I took so many pictures, so I had several things to reference. This one actually meshed about three different photos together to do this, which usually that doesn't work out too well for me, but I do think this worked out well. And again, there's that movement, not only in the water, but moving your eye around and you know, movement like this, the circle and these roots, I just feel like there's life to it and the water says movement. So yeah, those two I was just thrilled with from the week. Then I also did this one on the camping trip. Again, I pulled up another photo. This is of a friend of mine's house, a photo I took a long time ago. And again, I feel like there's movement. I really love the way the background here through the windows is abstracted and it does kind of feel like it moves. Really happy with that. And then did I do any more? No, no more in that one. I was going to show you some parts of this painting I did that you saw me working on. And I wanted to show you some of the movement. So there we've got the, sorry about this shadow right here. The movement of the bird. I do feel like you get just a real feel of that bird going through the air. I feel like the whole painting has just movement all over with the sky. And again, I'll be showing so much more of all of this in the class that we do at the very beginning of next year. So this was really fun to work on. Then today I've been working on Ooh, this barely fits in there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Barely, barely. Been working on this large one of me and my mom. I zoomed in more. I'm not sure if that worked or not. I did, yeah, all of this I worked on a lot. I feel like the value of the water isn't exactly what I want, but at some point I finally just stopped. This to me was more fun to work on and these figures and then all of this felt a little hard, mainly because I didn't have... I kept wanting to like pinch in and zoom into the photo, but I can't do that, obviously. So I wanted some more information that was over here. But I was really happy with the way I rendered that child's face, which is me, but I wasn't going for accuracy, but I really liked how that turned out. And I like the lean that I got of my mom, of her leaning in. And I remember this bathing suit that she used to have, which had was like navy blue with pink stripes. So, I think that's in, all in this one. Yes. Little bits of my week. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you back here in two weeks. Mm -hmm.